today's tutorial is going to be on basic stuff that you should know and stuff you probably don't know. First thing I'm going to do is look at a pretty nice picture, but it could be nicer. Um, for you photo editors, this is going to be a good step right here. There are some free stuff that you can actually do to help you with your editing. For example, there is a ton of actions. When I say a ton, I mean a ton. Let's look at this one real quick. basic picture and you can turn it into a lot of different pictures with just some actions now what an action is is you come up to windows come down to actions or alt f9 you bring up your actions your actions be right here now let's say that you have this picture here a lot of actions you're going to want to do this because how people make them they don't think of having duplicate of the picture go ahead and hit control A it selects the whole picture push control C to copy it then control D to deselect come over to our actions All right, and it's going to take action number five. And I'm just going to hit the play button. Then I'll say it does what the action is meant to be. Then I'm going to push control V to paste the old picture on top. Bring down the opacity. So it gives that more of a watery feel let's just be honest that's just too much and we'll just bring down the opacity and bring it a little bit now there is a, a lot of actions like if you um download this one here which is probably one i use a lot like like i like how this person has named everything night basically what it does is just puts more of a, a sh that brings out the shadows more so it's a night feel to it let's get rid of that one and we'll pass it back up and see this one brings the the vibrant colors out more. Like I said, there's a lot of them out there. You can also make your own. With this winter, I've been doing a lot of Christmas cards and all that. So I got sick and tired and I have to remake the snow. So <clears throat> I went and made my own action. And just hit play. And it automatically makes the snow for me. So I can just bring in a picture. And put that on bottom. And now it looks like it's actually snowing. And to do that action, to make your own. Go ahead and find a picture that you like. Make a new layer. Foreground color white, background color black. We're going to come up to our actions. We're going to create a new one. Call it Snow. Mine's going to be Snow 2 because I already got an action called Snow, but go ahead and hit record. Now, what you're going to do, the first thing you're going to do is Control Backspace 
filter with black. Come up to the filter. Come down to noise. Add noise. If you want real heavy snow, bring this up to a hundred. And go ahead and put a blur, more blur on it. Come down, or not come down, but come over to image, adjustment, levels, bring down the black to almost half point, and bring the white. So it looks like that. It's going to come out like that. Go ahead. And come down to blur. Motion blur. between 10 and 11 you're okay set that blending mode to screen and you're gonna duplicate it this time come up to crystal make it a little bit bigger 16 Okay. That way you got some falling crystal snowflakes. Then come down to our recording and hit stop. That way you got snow. And I'll show you that it actually works. Make a new layer. Come up to snow too. Hit it. And there you go. And that's simple. I mean, that's simple to do that kind of stuff. I'm a guy that likes to do stuff quick. So I went to Magic Ball and paid for full looks. Kind of expensive, but well worth it. Magic looks is sometimes a lifesaver. I mean, you don't even have to really know anything about it. You can just come in and select and automatically changes your picture. I mean it's that that simple. There is a ton of different ways to make your photo stand out from everybody else so you can be on top of everything. And then it's going to hit OK. It takes a minute to load up. And there it is. Just like that. You can come up. And another thing. I wish I would have got four instead of three. See, three was out. Four wasn't out quite yet. But I've seen some previews on it. And it's, it's way better than three. But at the time. I only had, um, there was only three of them, so, same thing with this plugin, it is killer, it is, I mean, it's just a killer plugin to have, out of all the plugins I have, this one I recommend for everybody, it's one of those plugins that you would just need there's no question about it like let's say for ink for example and over here if you look at this box right here it shows you what it changes and you can come up 
and you can go through I'm going to pick this, this green one right here hit ok and there it is, it just changes the whole picture now I have mine set up on design there are some different stuff that I have like I have all this stuff together so if I want to do a text real quick I can come in and select my tool come over and fine tune what I want it to look like styles I have I don't know like 600 styles you can come up and you can download a ton of styles there are people that that's all they do is make styles there are some that you will have to pay for like this guy he's very popular on this website but his stuff is not free typical price for him is four or five dollars but his styles are phenomenal they're the ones that you see in the movies and stuff like that But there are people that make some really nice styles up there. Nice for lettering and all that. Let's move back to our image. Now, yesterday I was talking to a buddy of mine and he is buying a tab. That's what I use. I don't use a mouse. I use a tab. And he was asking, how do you draw? Well, like most artists, I draw on everything when I'm outside of the house. And this is, for example, a picture. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer on top the layer that you want to draw. Go ahead and fill that in with white. Bring down the opacity. To th I, I bring it down to 50. But I've seen some people bring it down even lower than that. The reason I bring it down to 50 is I'm just looking for the lines and I'm looking for the shading and I'll grab my brush tool and I'll come over and I'll set my brush up and my brush I always set it at the angle at 130 130 132 somewhere in there and I'll set my roundness to right around 80 so it looks like an egg. I bring down the brush size, bring up the hardness, the spacing I bring down as far as I can, which is 1%. You can't get any lower than that. I use a brush between 14 and, not that high, but 14 and 50. Somewhere in there, depends on what I'm going to draw. Like this right here. I'm going to use a 19. Since I use my pen, I'll bring in the start drawing. Oops, you know what I did wrong? Forgot to make a new layer on top of our tracing paper. Then I'll come in and start rolling.
we get the idea of how to draw with your Photoshop and your tablet. And it's, it's pretty simple. And once you're done drawing, I mean, I mean, that was only three second drawing, but you can have that on. You can draw and paint everything. I mean, this here is full of later layers. My art teacher is going to kill me when he hears this, but I draw in layers. I don't draw everything in one thing because, for example, if I screw up here, then I got to erase that all and redraw it. I don't like that. I don't. I draw in layers like I turn off all the layers. Here is my black outlines. Then I'll come in and I'll drop in the great. So it looks like that. And with my grave, I will first start out with the dark. Throw in some darker underneath. When I say dark, I mean I start very light. I start right here. And I work my way up. Then I'll throw some more darker. And each time I go up, I'll go up one step. Sometimes I'll skip one, but it's pretty much just gradually building it up. Same thing here. Then the same thing was right here. I mean, I just come in and just made it all like that. Like you would see it on. Cause I'm a tattoo artist, so I like to draw my stuff in a tattoo artist way. Then same thing with my colors. colors in like my eyes and if you notice I also bring down the opacity so you could see some of the stuff that I did with the black and gray and then I'll put in the browns and the butter yellow Nice slime green on the bottom. Orange. Then I come in the skull and do the same thing. That's all that stuff was with the teeth, and that was all those layers. Two, three, four, four layers that's on the teeth. Then I'll come in and I'll throw my whites over top, but I also do my whites in layers too. That way, if I screw up, all I got to do is erase where I screwed up. Now with the black outline, all I did is I selected my black line layer. 
I'll select the outline and I'll select the bottom layer. This is my light white layer. Push Control Shift I invert the selection. So now it's just selecting the skull and the bones. And I'll hit Control J. And all that did. We'll just make the selection of this. It's like a cutout. I'll come in. I'll put a stroke on it. And I'll fine tune the stroke to exactly where I want it to be. So when I go ahead and I'll turn all those other layers on, now I got a black outline. Of exactly what I'm looking for. But you gotta, you know, you can go from um, black outline or a gray outline, and that's one thing that I was asking myself yesterday: Do I want a gray outline or a black outline? I went with gray because I wanted a black background, but I still wanted that thicker outline so when I throw the blood on top you can still see the thick outline now with the layer I just turned on this layer here I made everything that was selected I hit shift control alt E and what that does let me move it to the top. And what that does is makes a selection of everything. And I just come in and I hit control and select and it just selects the the skull. Then hit control J get rid of the background and now I just have that selected makes it one layer same thing come up and see you can make exactly how you want it to be This one brings out the browns more. It vibrates the colors. It's one thing I like about having this. There's a plugin for me to use. Is as an artist, I I would spend days on drawing this and getting it to exactly how I want it but I can get it to exactly how I, I need it to be by just having a plug it I mean they cost money but the long run the more you have the better you're gonna be off to get your looks that you're looking for And see, now you got a poster that people would be killing to have. Throw your signature on there, and boom, you got that. Let's say that you don't want to draw. You just you don't have the talent to draw a perfect circle. That's fine. This is Photoshop. You don't have to know how to draw. White background. Choose a brush. 
Now there is a ton of brushes you can download. And I mean a ton. Let's say that you want to throw some wings on somebody. There is a ton of brushes out there for you to download. You don't want to spend all day long drawing something out. Like your florals. Like this person here has got a ton of brushes for you to download. You know. You want some lightning. Boom. Lightning. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. This one right here is probably one of my favorite brushes. Brush set to actually use. I'm gonna bring that brush set up to show you what I'm talking about. Let me if I can find it. Fires. You get your brush. You get your fire that you want. And Now you got your fire that you're wanting. Boom, throw the style over the top. And now you got fire. You can come in and you can draw. Put over top of it. Make it look like a crazy bale of hay. <laughs> what? There is a ton of brushes out there for people to use if you don't want to spend time drawing your own brush. There are leaves, there are planets, shapes, hair. I mean, just everything you possibly could ever want. Somebody asked me, well, how do I know all the, the shortcuts? Well, Adobe puts new shortcuts in every one, so I don't know them all, but these, I'm going to put in the description, are the ones that you're really going to want to know. Your shortcuts are a lightsaber. You're going to hit H and hand. You're going to hit zoom. That's a Z. Now your Z. You want your brush. Hit B. You got your brush. I mean, there's shortcuts. You always want one hand open for your, your keyboard. So you can hit your shortcut. Like, control Z. You don't like the last thing you did. You hit control Z. Boom, it's gone. Hit alt and control then Z, you can go far back. These are a lightsaber. You can print this off, keep them next to you so you get them down, but you're going to want to have them. Another thing to have is a folder full of pictures. What I mean is like textures. You want every texture there is out there. I mean, I have spent years collecting pictures of stuff just so I can come in.
We're going to make a new document real quick to show you what I'm talking about. That way you can come in you know we can come in and just go ahead and throw some blending mode on it like let's say multiply now you got this rusty metal look for your background Throw text over top of that. And let's throw a style on top of the text. Boom. And that way you can have something look cool. Don't take a long time to do. So I recommend going on Google and typing in texture, going images and grabbing every texture you can find. You can do the same thing, do the same thing here, just type in texture. And these people have uploaded a trillion different textures for you to download. Some people even have texture brushes, so you can make different textures and all that stuff. I mean. There is a million ways to get what you're looking for. So, three main things to have are actually four things styles, actions, brushes, and knowing your shortcuts. Those four main elements are going to be a huge, huge change on your photoshopping. It will increase your speed to get quality products out to your customers, to the people that you're making stuff for, or even just make yourself something. Um, not really a big quality thing to have, but will increase your speed is a tablet and pen. I have the bamboo. Um, there's people that have the ones that are two, three, or four thousand dollar ones. That's a huge lifesaver in itself. Sorry we didn't get to make anything today. I just wanted to help out the beginner. I've been getting a lot of emails about it so hopefully this helps you guys out. Like always, subscribe, comment, rate, share. There is a Facebook group. It's becoming quite a big hit lately. It's in the description. A lot of great artists, a lot of beginners. We just like to talk shop. So, peace, and I will see you guys next year. Bye.